Yay, I got an Elytra launcher after 1.16 and it actually works. Yay. Now I'll exit my world and come back. Oh look, it's still working. So let's go use it. And then we go up and we try to come back again and oh, it broke. This is the biggest complaint that I've had for the Elytra launchers is that they're very temperamental. So for that, I've got a fix. It's resettable. You won't lose any sand and it will always work 100%. So stick around. This version is also way more compact. So what you're gonna do is dig straight down three, place a soul sand, and that's gonna be where the water column goes. Then put a slab on the top part right there. Now, and seal this up with glass because we're gonna put water in there. But first, break down one and put a button. Now, put glass over top of where the button is. Now, grab a sticky piston and put it on this top piece of glass. And then we're gonna put a slab on the top part of the piston. So pop you a slab there and then use any solid block and put right on top of the slab just like that. And then put another solid block right there and there. That's gonna control the piston. Put two buttons. Now dig down two, jump down in there and place water sources right there, right there and right there. That's three water sources. Now place your sand. Every piece of sand you use is how tall you'll go, but place the sand slowly. If you place the sand too fast, it can get all glitched up and break. Now come back up here, and we're gonna put a dispenser facing the water right here. Now come back down inside here and place a soul sand right against that slab. And then you can break all this stuff underneath here. Now back to the dispenser. You're gonna need to put an empty bucket inside of it. So pop your bucket in and then just give that bottom button a press and that's going to suck up your water. Then you can remove all that bottom stuff and this glass. Now just grab a glass pane and stick right here in front of the sand opposing the piston and press the button and watch what happens. It's going to shift the sand up into this top part. Now you just break the pane and uh, you're good to go. Just put a piston down here and a button and you're ready to launch. Now I'm gonna show you how to make it resettable after this. Now it's really quite simple. All you're gonna do is leave your piston there with the button on it, on the left there, and then just place down a glass pane. When it gets glitched up like that, after you enter your world, put a glass pane, press this button to reset it, and then remove your glass pane, and you're good to go. As long as every time you come in your world, you place down the glass pane and reset it like that, you can come back in and it'll work for you 100% of the time, no problem. All right, so it's broken, it won't work. All we're gonna do is place down the glass pane, press the button, and then it's working again. Now, I will tell you this, if you leave the glass pane there and forget to remove it and then press the button, I'll show you what that does as well. And that breaks it completely. Boom, it's done. So, good luck to everybody, enjoy the Elytra Launcher, and as always, thanks for watching.